Now, for the top story tonight, as you may know, Fox News has hired Governor Sarah Palin to do news analysis. That has thrown the left-wing media into a conniption. Isn't Sarah Palin going to work for Fox News like just a godsend to anybody who wants to have some comedy on the radio? She had a pesky little problem with the truth. No irony that day these headlines came out. Fox News snatches her up. Maybe she'll lot a lot being a pundit on Fox News, but at the time they picked her. How but at can the she time... be a pundit? She doesn't know anything. Unfortunately, there's just going to be one more um, ignorant right winger at Fox News. Now, here's how dumb that comment is. The factor beat CNN 5 to 1 at 8 p.m., and we expect that to increase with Sarah Palin on board. Somebody tell Mr. Vigala. Now, here's how dumb that comment was. It didn't actually address any of the things that were said. It simply ignored those and said, well, we have high ratings. Well, I mean, I, I, every time someone says something about Fox News ratings, I always like to point out that um, in certain countries in the Middle East, uh, 95 to 100 percent of the population is Muslim. Now, does that make Islam any more correct? Here now is the governor whose best-selling book, Going Rogue, continues to dominate the best-seller lists across the country. At this point, you know, we talked about this last time you were in here. It, it's, it's almost funny that these people feel that you're such a threat to them. Uh, it, it's, it's almost amusing, is it not? No, Bill. What's amusing is that you think we think she's a threat. We think she's a fucking idiot. We laugh at her. Did you not just hear the comments from other people that you played? Nobody was like, oh my god, she's, we're scared. We're terrified. We are intimidated by Sarah fucking Palin. And nobody is intimidated by Sarah Palin. She's a fucking idiot. Well, I, I'm I'm grinning today, and I'm so appreciative of the opportunity to get to work with you and the other team members here at Fox News to provide the fair and the balanced reporting and analysis that voters in this country deserve. Well, obviously, the you know folks are watching Fox News far more than they watch these pinheads oh, yeah. uh, that comment negatively on you. Well, just to put that argument in a YouTube perspective, Fred has more subscribers and gets more views than pretty much anyone on YouTube. Now, does that make Fred's videos any better than anyone else's? I would have to say no. I would have to say, in fact, he has some of the worst videos, but somehow they get the most fucking views. And I would have to say that's about what Fox News is like. But it's the threat that I don't get. It. You're the governor of Alaska, the former governor of Alaska, former vice presidential candidate. You're a politician. That's former politician, Bill. Uh, now she's just a Fox News pundit, which is pretty much the bottom of the shit barrel. You're a mom. How the fuck does that have anything to do with the fucking subject? Uh, I'm a dad. Does that make me qualified like Sarah fucking Palin? <laughs> what the fuck? You're an American. You are white. You have brown hair and brown eyes. You are female. I mean, what, what the fuck else are you going to fucking talk about? What's the threat? What? I mean, I, I'm not feeling it here, Governor. I'm not feeling the threat from you here. Well, let's see. Uh, according to those standards, Obama was a senator and then he was presidential candidate and then he he won by the way and uh he, he's a father of two and um what else uh, um he's american so so what the fuck he doesn't seem like very much of a threat right but fox news sure treats him like a threat right i'm not seeing it here <laughs> Tell me what the threat is. Well, see, obviously, it's it's not about me. It's not about me personally, who I am from up there. Yeah, in but Alaska. they're going after they, you personally. They don't like the message. They don't like the common sense conservative solutions that I think uh, I represent and I articulate as I explain what I believe are some solutions to the great challenges facing it's America. True. They don't like to hear it. That's true, but there are a lot of conservative politicians giving that message, and none of them are as attacked personally, as vehemently as you are. First of all, I don't even think that statement is true, but even even if it were, I think the reason would be that she is the epitome of what Republicans and conservatives stand for. She's uh, overly religious zealot. She is uh, a hypocrite. She is an idiot. I mean, these you know doesn't understand basic things. She thinks she knows everything, and that's what most conservatives are like. They don't know jack shit, and they think they know everything. And that's just a fact. Now. President Obama's poll numbers sinking. I think it's the uh, unemotional response to terror, as I said, and the health care debacle. Anything else in play? Of course they're sinking. It, it was just a matter of time before more of that uh, reflection of the people's uh, 
uncomfortableness that they feel towards this administration is manifesting in these poll numbers. Boom, right there, right there. I mean, the, how much more evidence do you need? This, this woman doesn't know what she is even saying. She's stringing together words. She's like, uh, it was only a matter of time before the polls manifested the uncomfortableness that the people had with the Obama administration, the uh, the uncomfortableness that got him elected, you fucking retard. She, she just kind of, you know, pulls through barely. She's just barely. It's like, she could just collapse in the very next sentence. That's how I feel while I'm watching her. There is an obvious disconnect between President Obama and the White House, what they are doing to our economy and what they are doing in terms of um, not allowing Americans to feel as safe as we had felt and people finally saying, you know, this is not the representative form of government that we thought that we had voted in. After a year's time, people are saying, no, we want the White House, we want President Obama to hear from us. We want these common sense solutions with health care, with jobs, with the economy, with the war on terror to be implemented so we can get back on the right track. She talks about these common sense solutions. They don't have any. Uh, their, their solution to health care is, nah, we don't need to reform that shit their solution to creating jobs ah, you can't spend money and or, or or expand the government or anything to create jobs so they don't really want to create jobs and they don't really care about the economy as long as they got money in their pocket and then their solution to uh, national security is to just use the word terror and terrorism and Muslim terrorist a shitload and that will somehow make people feel safer that's <laughs> What? But isn't it true that no human being could lower the unemployment rate at this point? Isn't it true that nobody can, you know... Actually, there are a shitload of people that could lower the unemployment rate. All they have to do is fucking hire somebody. Obviously, that's not an actual answer to our economic problems right now. You know, that's not the way the economy works. But it is an answer to Bill's retarded questions and the way he frames them. I mean... I don't like the massive spending. I think it's going to bankrupt the nation. Um, but I, you know, I'm saying to myself, if Sarah Palin and John McCain were in, could they bring unemployment down under 10 percent? And I'm not sure you could. If the question is, can any individual politician change the job forecast outlook? No, but what government can do is get out of the way of the private sector being able to seize opportunities to grow and to thrive and prosper and hire more people. You do that, a politician, a policy does that by reducing taxes on the job creators, by getting government out of the way of the private sector. Let's talk about health care for a minute. You guys see what I mean when I talk about her? She's, she's almost like she's going to fall apart at any moment. Uh, she, she was kind of repeating herself a second, and then she was like, uh, next talking point. Like, she, I can tell she uses flashcards and shit. She's like, next, uh, mm, let's talk about health care. Listen for yourself. Can any individual politician change the job forecast outlook? No, but what government can do is get out of the way of the private sector being able to seize opportunities to grow and to thrive and prosper and hire more people. You do that, a politician, a policy does that by reducing taxes on the job creators, by getting government out of the way of the private sector. Let's talk about health care for a minute. When we consider that the White House wants to take another one-sixth of our economy, take it from the private sector hands, take it over and put it in government's hands, that's another step towards greater unemployment numbers. It's another step towards greater growth of government, which is the wrong track. Well, it's that's the what they want. And that's what, but remember, they won. They won on that. Everybody who voted for Barack Obama, if they were paying attention, knew he was a big government liberal. So, you know, the folks are getting what they do. There were promises made, <clears> though, that, that he made that he is not they're keeping, always, obviously. They're always promises, I, I think you know that. They, they're more, it's a more glaring situation today, though, than we have seen in past administrations. There were such... Um, such such clear promises, such blatant promises. Like C-SPAN going right. health care like coverage? C-SPAN, <laughs> like a bipartisan approach <laughs> right. to finding the solutions to health care. That was pretty bad, I have to say. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Pretty bad that anyone tried to be bipartisan at all. Because every time the conservatives asked for something and they got it, they still wouldn't vote for the fucking thing. I mean, time after time after time, until it was so diluted and so watered down that it's pretty much worthless and helps out the insurance companies more than the fucking people that need the fucking health care. So, wow. You know, and, and, they, and then fucking Fox News, of course, they still treat it like 
it's the same as that's what conservatives do they're like i want you, you know i'll be happy when you do this and then you do that and they're like still not happy not having it bang, bang, but thanks anyway you know you caved to us and we didn't cave back and we didn't fucking there's no bipartisan there's no there's no give and take at all it's just take 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 you give we take and then when you do something we don't like or that even you know we might we like it but we would like it a little bit more our way we're just going to complain about it until you fucking change it woohoo yay america anyone not living in america pat yourself on the back for fucking being lucky cuz the american way is not what it fucking was meant to be or what it used to be it's all bullshit now cocktopus out by the way check out the next part to this i'll probably post a link to it here after i upload it in a day or two